Good morning. Here I am sitting in my workshop with my morning coffee on a Sunday morning. What better time to go over your solutions to the problem that I was having a few weeks ago. I wanted to go over five really creative solutions that were just a little bit too complex, but that really taught me something. And then two solutions that were much simpler, that were really a consensus in the comments that I was able to implement. First, for the really creative solutions. Number one, I2C. I2C is a bus where you're still going to need positive and negative wires coming in, but then you can have either one or two data wires that would connect a microcontroller that would have to be in the foot to a microcontroller that would be in the rest of the dog bot. That would limit the wire count down to three to four wires. Really cool idea. That was RK Ward 101 who had that idea. Really cool. Creative solution number two. Four bar linkage. This idea was from Custom Energies and it's a mechanical solution that would add complexity but it would work. Creative solution number three, infrared. I thought this was really creative. This came from Beware Eyewear. And basically the idea is that you, you collect all the data from the sensors into a microcontroller on the foot. All it needs is positive and negative power wires and it sends that information through infrared light to an infrared receiver that's on the leg. It cuts the wire count down to two wires. I thought it was really creative. Creative solution number four, slip rings. Custom Energies had this idea. You can get slip rings, six wire slip rings for $18. I did not know that. I thought that was really creative and I'll probably end up using slip rings in, in some other projects. Very creative. Creative solution number five. This was sent in by Chris on Google+. Why build a dog bot? Why not build a cat bot? Because we all know that cats always land on their feet. Now on to the simpler solutions that were a consensus among the comments that I was able to implement. Simple solution number one. Now this is a, a continuation from the last video. This is 30 gauge magnet wire and there are seven of them in this cable. I constructed this cable by cutting seven 30 gauge wires, stripping off the coating on each end using a razor blade, soldering each end to a female crimp pin, and twisting the seven wires into a cable. Now, I did test this cable using a muck shield, which is an Arduino shield, which increases the number of inputs and outputs. I plugged one end of the cable into MUX and the other end into pins eight through 13 plus ground. And I verified that if I supply a positive voltage to one of the wires, it is only received on the other end of that wire and not on any of the other wires. Now this ensures that each wire is not electrically equivalent, which is what we need. We need them to be totally different wires. So this will work electrically, but is it flexible enough to use on the dog bot foot? So I'm just going to do a, a very simple test here, just a proof of concept. I'm going to plug the one end of the wire just onto the accelerometer here just to hold on to it on the foot. And then I'm going to put the other end in this, this Velcro that's on the leg just as a proof of concept. And of course the wire would be shorter if we were doing this for real. But this is going to prove that seven 30 gauge wires are flexible enough for this foot design. I mean, how hot is that?
I'm impressed. Now I did receive a comment after the last video that this 30 gauge magnet wire, when flexed continuously, will cause the, the insulation to flake off. Now that's, that's a possibility that I would have a difficult time testing. But over time, this may not be a viable solution. The final solution required a complete redesign of the foot. Now several of you had this idea and it's very similar to last season. You have a rubber ball and as force is applied to the rubber ball, it transfers that force to the force sensitive resistor. So let's screw this on and see how it looks. So what do you think? Is this the design I should be using? Thanks for sending in all of your ideas. Thanks for encouraging me to obey the laws of physics. And thanks for watching these videos. I'm really looking forward to plugging this into a, a microcontroller and seeing what we can do with the full assembly. I'll see you next time.